Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Mequena. Deep fried donuts made from a mixture of flour, sugar, and spices. Mequena, also known as Mequena Kotso, is a popular street food and traditional snack in Lesotho. It is a type of deep fried donut made from a simple mixture of flour, sugar, water, and spices. Mequena is loved for its delicious taste and is often enjoyed as a sweet treat or as a quick snack. Here's an overview of how Mequena is typically prepared. Ingredients The main ingredients for Mequena include all purpose flour, sugar, baking powder, a pinch of salt, and water. Some variations may also include spices like cinnamon or nutmeg for added flavor. Mixing the dry ingredients are combined in a bowl, and water is gradually added to form a smooth and thick batter. The batter should be thick enough to hold its shape when dropped into hot oil for frying. Frying. Mequena is traditionally deep-fried in hot oil until it becomes golden brown and crispy. The dough is usually dropped by spoonfuls into the hot oil and cooked until it puffs up and expands. Draining. Once fried, mequena is removed from the oil and placed on paper towels to drain any excess oil. Serving. Mequena is often served hot and can be enjoyed on its own as a sweet snack. Some people may dust the mequena with powdered sugar for extra sweetness. Mequena is a popular snack in Lesotho, commonly found at street food stalls, local markets, and traditional festivals. It is a delightful treat loved by both young and old and is often enjoyed with friends and family. Whether you're exploring the vibrant streets of Lesotho's towns or experiencing its beautiful countryside, Trying Mequena is a must for anyone looking to experience the country's delightful street food culture. Lekotlon. A traditional bread made from sorghum or wheat flour, often served with tea or stew. Lekotlon, also known as, lekoane, is a traditional bread that is widely enjoyed in Lesotho. It is a type of unleavened bread made from sorghum or wheat flour, and it holds cultural significance in Basotho cuisine. Lekotlon is often served with various dishes, such as stews, curries, or as a side accompaniment to main meals. Here's an overview of how lekotlon is typically prepared. Ingredients. The main ingredients for making lekotlon include sorghum or wheat flour, water, and sometimes a pinch of salt. Some variations may also include a small amount of cooking oil. Mixing. The flour is combined with water and salt, if used, in a bowl to form a dough. The dough is kneaded until it becomes smooth and elastic. Resting. The dough is allowed to rest for a short period, usually around 15 to 30 minutes. This resting time helps to relax the gluten, making the dough easier to work with. Portioning. The dough is divided into smaller balls, each about the size of a tennis ball. Flattening. Each ball of dough is flattened and rolled out into a round disc using a rolling pin. The discs are typically thin but not too large. Cooking. Lekotlon is traditionally cooked on a hot, flat, and smooth surface, such as a griddle or a large, heavy frying pan. The bread is cooked on both sides until it becomes slightly brown and cooked through. Serving. Lekotlon is usually served hot and is a common accompaniment to a wide range of dishes, such as meat or vegetable stews. Lekotlon is an essential part of Basotho cuisine and culture, and it is commonly enjoyed as a staple food in Lesotho. Whether eaten with savory stews or enjoyed on its own, Lekotlon provides a delicious and filling addition to any meal. The love and appreciation for this traditional bread extend beyond Lesotho's borders, and it continues to be a cherished part of Basotho heritage and culinary traditions. Kebab. Grilled skewered meat, often seasoned with spices. Kebab is a popular street food enjoyed in many parts of the world, including Lesotho. It is a dish made from skewered and grilled or roasted meat, often seasoned with a blend of spices and herbs. Kebabs come in various styles, and the type of meat used can vary based on regional preferences and availability. Here's an overview of how kebabs are typically prepared. Meat. The main ingredient for kebabs is meat, which can be beef, lamb, chicken, or even goat. The meat is typically cut into bite-sized pieces and marinated to infuse it with flavor. Marination. The meat pieces are marinated in a mixture of spices, herbs, oil, and sometimes yogurt or citrus juice. The marinade helps tenderize the meat and imparts a delicious taste. Skewering. The marinated meat pieces are threaded onto skewers, either metal or wooden. If using wooden skewers, they are often soaked in water beforehand to prevent them from burning during the grilling process. Grilling or roasting. 
the skewered meat is cooked on an open flame, barbecue grill, or in an oven. The high heat and direct flame create a smoky and charred exterior while keeping the meat tender and juicy on the inside. Serving. Once cooked, kebabs are often served hot and may be garnished with fresh herbs or served with a side of sauce or chutney. Kebabs are a popular street food in Lesotho, commonly found at local markets, street food stalls, and outdoor events. They are loved for their delicious flavors and are often enjoyed as a quick and satisfying snack or as part of a larger meal. Whether you're exploring the bustling streets of Lesotho's towns or experiencing its natural beauty, trying kebabs is a must for anyone looking to savor the diverse and flavorful street food offerings in the country. Liako. Roasted or boiled corn on the cob, often seasoned with butter and spices. Liako, also known as, lycoconia, is a popular street food in Lesotho. It is a type of roasted or boiled corn on the cob, commonly enjoyed as a delicious and nutritious snack. Here's an overview of how liako is typically prepared. Fresh corn. The main ingredient for liako is fresh and tender corn on the cob. The corn is usually sourced from local farms or markets. Roasting or boiling. There are two common ways to prepare liako. In the roasting method, the corn cobs are placed on an open flame or hot coals and rotated to ensure even cooking. The roasting gives the corn a smoky and charred flavor. In the boiling method, the corn cobs are boiled in water until they become tender. Seasoning. Once the corn is cooked, it is often seasoned with butter and may also be sprinkled with salt and spices for added flavor. Serving. Liako is usually served hot and can be enjoyed on its own as a tasty and satisfying snack. It is a popular street food in Lesotho, commonly found at local markets, roadside stalls, and outdoor events. Liako is not only a delicious treat but also a symbol of Lesotho's agricultural heritage. It is commonly enjoyed by locals and visitors alike, especially during the corn harvest season. If you happen to be in Lesotho, trying Liako is a must to experience the country's authentic and flavorful street food culture. Likhoboshaneng, a type of bread made from whole wheat flour. Likhoboshaneng, also known as Likhoboshimane, is a traditional type of bread in Lesotho. It is a form of sourdough bread made from whole wheat flour and has a distinct sour taste, similar to other sourdough bread varieties. Here's an overview of how likhoboshaneng is typically prepared. Ingredients. The main ingredient for likhoboshaneng is whole wheat flour. Other common ingredients include water and sometimes a small amount of salt. Sourdough starter. Likhoboshaneng is made using a sourdough starter, which is a natural fermentation process. The starter is a mixture of flour and water that captures wild yeast and beneficial bacteria from the environment. This fermentation process gives the bread its characteristic sour taste. Mixing. The flour is mixed with water and the sourdough starter to form a dough. The dough is then kneaded thoroughly to ensure even distribution of the starter. Rising. Once kneaded, the dough is left to ferment and rise. The natural fermentation process can take several hours or even overnight, depending on the desired level of sourness and rising. Shaping. After the dough has risen, it is shaped into loaves or rounds, depending on the desired final shape. Baking. Likhoboshaneng is traditionally baked in a clay or stone oven known as a lesaka. The bread is placed inside the lesaka and baked until it develops a golden brown crust. Serving. Once baked, likhoboshaneng is usually served fresh and can be enjoyed on its own or with various toppings like butter, jam, or cheese. Likhoboshaneng is a cherished part of Basutu culture and cuisine. It has been prepared for generations and remains an important aspect of Lesotho's traditional food heritage. If you have the opportunity to try likhoboshaneng during your visit to Lesotho, you'll get to experience the unique and authentic flavors of this traditional sourdough bread.